Hello and welcome to the Secret Wealth Project. I'm Matt. I hope you're doing all right today. So, Shopify. Now, I don't know whether to call this part four of the Shopify video. Are we on part four? I don't know. I, I don't know whether it's three or four. Is it three or four? I sound like you. I sound like you in the online arbitrage thing. Okay, so I'm not sure what part to call this. But to be fair, I'm not sure I'm even going to call it a part. Um, it's basically... I just want to show you some kind of websites that are successful and built on the Shopify platform, okay? So it's not really part of the course and how to do it, but I thought it might be interesting to some people that are looking to set up a Shopify store. So these are all successful Shopify stores. Now, Tesla, as you know, Elon Musk, my hero, um, this is his company's website, and that's built on Shopify. So... It's proof that this software is heavy, heavy duty enough for even the big boys, the billionaires. Um, it's got, and what I, what I do want to show you in all these, all of these um, websites is there's common elements and how you can make your little one man store that you start up yourself a one woman store. Sorry, girls, you can you can uh, make your one man store, one person store look just as big as the big boys real easy so if you just look at this very simplistic design you know this would be easy to get a template that looks very much like this they've got a logo here which you'll be you can easily do they've got a menu with some drop down collections very easy to do a search bar already built in the cart stuff already built in and then they've just got, uh, obviously, the product pages and then the usual footer menu with a few bits and bobs. In fact, they've not got much of a, a footer menu, to be fair. This is probably the one, one of the most simplistic kind of e-commerce stores I've probably ever seen, including all e-commerce stores. I mean, they've not got, I mean, unless I've m missed something, I've got to see no privacy policy links or anything. You know, it's about as basic as it gets, which, you know what, they've probably done that on purpose to be a bit different. Uh, knowing what Tesla are like, so you know, being minimalist and all that. So I'm going to pick a random product, women's athletic tank. So they've got a product picture, they've got a product title, price, size, add to cart. Some very, very, very simplistic writing. They don't do much in the way of selling it, but this is the beauty of it. You can, you could, you know, you, you could make a big description there saying how. Um, how the garment is double stitched to perfection and, and handcrafted in a factory in Michigan, Michigan in the USA. And the logo is, um, I don't know, precisely engineered to blah, blah, blah. You could do that or you could just do with what do what they've done. This athletic performance tank top is made from 92% polyester and 8% spandex. They do. They make no attempt to sell this product. But yeah, so as you can see, this is pretty much, this is like Elon Musk has gone to his his guys, his web guys and said, can we just get a website up? And they've been like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And he's like, can we get it up by tomorrow? And they've been like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And then this is the, the <laughs> this is the result. Unless I'm missing something, this is very, very, very simplistic. Add to cart. So yeah, it's got basic cart, check out PayPal. Uh, that's it. So that's Tesla, massive, massive, massive company, as you know built on Shopify. Again, this is another web store. Now, I'm not sure where I first heard about this. Maybe it's in some kind of YouTube tutorials from someone else or something. I, I can't remember. Oh, that's interesting. I've sold this product. Um, I mean, these are just straight from AliExpress. This is a drop shipping general Shopify store. Um, until a few, I don't know if it's a few weeks ago or a few days ago, I don't know how, how recently this has changed, but this website looked terrible. Like, no offense to whoever's website it is, but it looked terrible. And I'm guessing they knew that because they've update, updated the graphics and, and the presentation. It looks a lot better now. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I can't remember where, who or how or why. I know this is a successful store, but I've been told this is a successful store somewhere along the lines. Um, so it's got collections in here. This is all real easy to do. This is real easy, easy, easy stuff, guys. This is not beyond any of your 
You know, it's got all the basic stuff in it. They've not even removed the Powered by Shopify um, thing. In fact, I don't know if it's a, an affiliate link. So maybe they've left it that in there on purpose. Um, but they've got an FAQ page that is not very long. Do you know what I mean? This They've not... What I'm trying to show you is, like, this is not beyond you. Their About Us page is tiny, you know... Shipping and return policy, tiny. Everything's tiny, but I mean, it's it's very much uh, plug a product in from AliExpress, presumably. Uh, a lot of these products are on AliExpress, so I can only assume that they're sourcing from AliExpress. Um, you've got a glowing lead there. Look, ooh, twelve pound twenty eight. Uh, let me get um, if I get. Okay, so I've been looking at some watches on AliExpress earlier. Uh, so if I type in glow in the dark in the dark lead, I call it leash in America, I think, so I might not find it on lead, but um, let's see if we can find it. Let's try leash. Oh, in the dark leash. Yeah, see, I'm struggling to find that exact product, but I'm sure I could find it. Given a little bit more time, I'll find it. Uh, like I say, a lot of them products are definitely on AliExpress for certain. You get rid of Tesla. Um, okay, so your wish store. You, anyway, you've got your products just loaded up with a load of um, AliExpress stuff. Real, real, real simple. Like you've just got a logo. Again, you've just got the standard Shopify stuff. This is just a normal theme. This is not beyond you. You can do this, guys. Now, this is where they've got a bit more advanced than last time. I don't think they had these graphics here. But these are very, very, very simple graphics. You could pay someone very little money to create these if you can't create them yourself. Uh, you could probably get someone on Fiverr to do something very, very similar for you if you wanted to uh, for like Fiverr. Like I say, I've sold this product, so um, I know this is on AliExpress for certain. So if I just I just copy that, get AliExpress AliExpress up, and just type in. Here we are. Look. She's there. So there's I think there's a lot of sellers selling this on AliExpress, but as you can see, this particular product is really easy to source and. As you can see, it's the exact same product. So they're selling it for twenty pound forty six Great British pounds, which is twenty four ninety US dollars. And then, as you can see, so twenty quid, it's five dollars seventy eight to buy. So you can see they're selling it for many, many times more than they're purchasing it for, which is what the business is all about, really. These have got a little bit more information in there than um, uh, than. Tesla, and this is interesting. Please allow 21 to 45 days of shipping time for your deli for de delivery of your item. Okay, so a lot of people are put off the idea of a drop ship Shopify store from AliExpress because of the shipping times, but it doesn't have to stop you as long as you tell the customer um, that that it, they're going to be waiting this kind of length of time. And they've made it in bold look, so they're not trying to hide it from anyone. They've made it the most prominent thing on this page, other than um, the name of the product then your customers are generally going to be okay with it. They can't moan about where is my product like tomorrow when it says so clearly on the website that it's going to be 21 to 45 days. Now, in my opinion, you should do your best to reduce shipping times if you can. One way to do that is you can drop ship from eBay. Even if you're in, say, the UK and you're selling in the US, you could drop ship from eBay. But you can use something called ePacket and it reduces the shipping times to more like more like uh, 12 days, 10 days, I think between seven days and two weeks or something like that. It depends what it says. But So you could, you could get this shipping time down. Um, but as long as you tell people, it's not the end of the world. Again, these do not own this product. It's just drop shipped from AliExpress. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. So the next one. Okay, so this is called Ruby to Perfection. I left this up when I was loading these websites earlier to show you. I left this up so you could see... 
this is something a lot of people do. Um, they do a little pop-up to collect your email address so they can follow up and try and sell you more stuff as a customer. Um, but sign up today for a chance to win our most popular bracelets and rings valued at $184. So potentially if these don't even give out a, a, a prize or they give out a prize once a year or something, you know, they've captured an email address for absolutely nothing. But a lot of people use the 10% off method so a pop-up will appear here and it'll say to get 10% off your first order um, and to your email address and it'll just get a coupon to get, to get 10% off so that's another way you can capture email addresses and follow up I've noticed a lot of stores do 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 this and a lot of stores have started to do this so it might be something worth considering again this is very easy to do on Shopify not essential but very easy so yeah, so if you have a look, this is uh, Ruby to Perfection. I'm not sure if this is drop shipped or not, but let's have a look. But I mean, it's it's a clean site. Look how clean it is. It's a really simple little logo here. Real simple kind of theme with. Um, oh yeah, look, you've got you've got the um, what's it called? I can't remember what this app's called, but if you look down in this corner. Yeah, look, Timothy, you can't see that because it's not quite on the page. Let me move the page across. This is an app uh, you can get for Shopify. I can't remember what it's called. I have used it, and it does. it is quite good. Um, it basically creates social proof and kind of lets you know that somebody else has trusted this website, so you should trust, trust this website. It's like one of these inbuilt psychological triggers that we have as humans that you kind of can't combat but here we go look it's it's popping up i find them a little bit annoying but basically it's saying that about 43 minutes ago somebody bought one of these you know and you can click on it as well so let's see what they bought 43 minutes ago okay i'll scroll the page back over right so it's a zodiac sign black goldstone or coalstone leather bracelet i can't even see it where's it gone I don't even know where it's gone. Let's click on something else. Is it here? Oh, I think the the site's struggling to load. I don't know if they've got some dodgy little app on here that's making it slow loading. Yeah, you know what it'll be. I did it on one of my stores. Um, I had, and I don't know if it's this for certain. So if the app developer sees the video, don't jump down my throat. But you, did you see how long that took to that to load that? image up in fact I'm going to go back here we go it's loaded up now so this is that thing that someone's bought 43 minutes ago it's quite cool Sagittarius look this as you'll see later on um, it's quite cool because you can target people that are that have multiple interests and one of those interests might be that they are a Sagittarius so they like bracelets and they're Sagittarius and I don't know if this is a man's thing would you say this is a man's product or yeah, so you can target a man between the age of, I don't know, 20 and 30 or 18 and 30 or something like that. Uh, that's a Sagittarius. Um, and I'm not sure if you can actually target star signs on, on Facebook, but I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. I've not done it, but I'm pretty sure you can. So you target them saying they're um, a Sagittarius man between the ages of 18 and 30 or something like that. Boom. All of a sudden, you've knocked out anyone that's not Sagittarius. You've knocked out all the women. You've knocked out anyone over uh, 30 and anyone under 18. So you've gone from pretty much advertising to the whole world, which you don't want to do because like, you can't afford to do that, really. You need to put the right products in front of the right people. Um, but you've gone from doing that to targeting real closely the customer. But anyway, what I was going to say is don't jump, jump, jump down my... Um, throw uh, Shopify app developer but this you know how it, when it first came up it didn't load very quick I don't know if it's something to do with this magnify app thing and I'm not sure what that magnify app is called I have used it and I noticed that it was doing it to my site as well but I, th I don't know if it has to load like a higher resolution image or I'm not sure what it has to do but you just clearly saw it was delaying the um, delaying the, the page loading which is never a good thing. You don't want slow loading pages because I clicked away, you know, and somebody seriously looking at this product might, might have clicked away too. So you want to avoid that. But at the same time, it's very nice to be able to zoom in. It's very pretty and you can see the detail of it more and stuff. So it's, it's a cool little app, but if it is causing that slow delay, 
and maybe it's worth considering not having it. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, same again, very easy. This does look like just your standard drop shipped, um, drop shipped Shopify store by the looks of it. It's got, I mean, I could probably search for these products, but yeah, it's almost certainly like a drop, drop shipped Shopify store. Um, I mean, it's interesting. It looks quite good to be fair. Uh, it's got loads of random, weird kind of things. They've loaded up this, loaded this up with lots of products. It would have taken a while to do this. Here we go. We've got some pop here. We've got pop-ups flying out, uh, around everywhere. Um, but yeah, when you click on a product, and you can select which type you want. Let's go for the platinum plated. Yeah, it's platinum plated. Um, then you could just add it to cart. Boom. You know, that's added to your cart. In fact, that was interesting. Let me show you that as well. So I'm hoping this shows you what a Shopify store is and gives you a rough idea of what other people are doing so you can kind of integrate some of these ideas into your own. But would you like to add a wood bead Tibetan Buddha prayer bracelet for $24.95? So they've basically got an upsell uh, app installed into this um, Shopify store. So when someone wants to buy something, it's like another one of these psychological things, but when someone wants to buy something, at the point whereby they pull out their credit card or debit card, you've kind of broken down a lot of barriers. So when they're ready to buy this first thing, they're much more likely to buy something else from you at the same time, at the same point because they're in that buyer's mindset, that buyer's mind frame. So what you do is you offer them an associated or related product at the same time, sometimes at a discount, but in this case it looks like it's just standard price. And something like... 20% of visitors will probably take you up on your offer based on this kind of thing. So this person is just basically doubled, near enough doubled their order value if I just click add to cart, boom. When it loads. Okay, so, oh, they've got loads of apps installed. It's, it's yeah, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, 49, 21, look. Like, Boom, so, but when you're in a buyer's mind frame, it's like, yeah, go on then, I'll do it. It's a lot easier to upsell someone at this point, which is why you see upsells all over the place in shopping carts and stuff and, and training products and that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is an interesting store. like it, it's all right. A bit app heavy for me, but it's pretty good. Um, what you can't see just off the top is a... Here we go, let me see if I can... No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. Um, there's a just off the I think off the recorded screen it says free worldwide shipping on orders over twenty five dollars just up there. Uh, that's just an app called Free Shipping Bar. It just displays that. Um, I'm gonna get off this because things are popping all over the place. Let's get to the next one. Right, so watch out, fitters. Um, if I remember right, the story I read about the guy that owns this one, um, I don't know if he was seventeen or something like that. So I might be getting mixed up, but I think he's pretty young, and um, he he made he started doing. I think it was thirteen and a half thousand dollars um at per month on this store or something like that. Don't quote me on any of them figures, I'm just remembering it off my head, off the top of my head. But I mean it's a pretty store. Um it's got a simple logo. Again, you could get that design on Fiverr for probably a Fiverr. Uh this is the Brooklyn theme in Shopify by the looks of it. So it's a free theme, you don't even need to pay anything to have your site look this good. And all he's done is he's got some product photos. Maybe they're his own product photos. I don't know. Um, I mean, these are almost certainly drop shipped products. In fact, they're, I think I'm pretty sure they are drop shipped products. Um, but maybe he's had a photo taken, so he's got his own unique kind of photos. But this is easy to load into the Brooklyn theme, so you could have your own image back here, which could be selling anything. Um, but yeah, it's just a drop shipped store in the Brooklyn theme. So let's click on one. Again, this is not beyond anyone here. Um, you could do this, guys. So if you're looking at this and thinking, wow, this is going to be too difficult, with Shopify, it's really, 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 really easy. Um, and obviously, down below, there's a link for a 14-day free trial if you want to use it. Um, it's an affiliate link of mine. If you keep, if you actually pay for the thing after the free trial, then I'll get, I'll get a small commission. But... Um, that's not why I promote, well, that's not why I promote these things. Uh, you need a Shopify store, whether you're going to do this or not. But yeah, as you can see, you've got a title here. You've got add to cart button. 
this is just copy and paste from uh, AliExpress. He's not even wrote his own um, kind of description. All orders ship two to three days after they are placed. So that's that. He's making it sound like kind of going to get them in two to three days or something. But what he means is literally there's kind of a I don't know what they call it, but they call it a they call it a period of time whereby you've made your order on AliExpress and then there's a period of time before they send it. I can't remember what they call it. My mind's gone blank. But basically, um, that's what that is. And then I'm guessing in his FAQ somewhere, he'll actually explain that these things are going to take longer. I mean, this guy's successful with this store, supposedly. So this is not beyond anyone. So that's how long does shipping take? Right. Here we go. Look, please allow for up to one to three weeks for shipping and up to three to four weeks if the order is international, which probably if you're in the US or the UK or wherever um, and you're getting something from China, it's going to be an international order. So, I mean, it's a bit less obvious than I would like to make it. If I was him, I'd, I'd put this on the um, on the actual product page. But um, I suppose he could say, if any customers complain, he could say, look, it's clearly in my FAQ. It's three to four weeks. But, I mean, you don't need to let that three to four week thing stop you or the two to three weeks or whatever it ends up being. You don't need to let it stop you. It's not stopping these people. That's what I'm trying to say, say to you. So this is a very, very, very simplistic kind of, not one-click install, but it's a pretty much a one-click install of the Brooklyn theme on Shopify. Nice and easy. Real easy to build this. This would be Doddle. Not 10 minutes, but... You can do it, guys. Real, real easy. Free theme. All right, let's move on a little bit quicker. So, I don't know if you can see that, but this is Beard Brand. Okay, so this is not this is not a drop ships thing. This is more probably started off as a private label brand, but this guy's making um, big money. I mean, and seen on Shark Tank, Men's Journal, New York Times, and all that stuff. So, I mean, he's he's doing well with this, but it's built on Shopify by the looks of it and you know what I wanted to show you is again you've got some beautiful high quality product images on the background but you know this is just basically a theme that anyone can have and then here we go let's have a look at the founder and then you can plug your bits and bobs in and you can start selling like this guy is you know and you can have your own brand or your own products selling very easily so anyone from Tesla to beer products to jewellery to watches, pretty much anything. So I'll close that one off. So these are a little bit, these are pretty much successful sites. But again, the one thing in common is it's just a simple theme with um, a little logo. Again, it's just basically running on Shopify. These are easy to put in here. Uh, very simple. Everything is very simple. You don't need to get bogged down in the details. And these are probably the better looking sites that I've seen. I've seen some really, really ugly sites running on Shopify, like really ugly sites. And the, the people are doing really well with them. The simplest of, of sites and they're, they're making good money on them. So I'll click on a random product. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Let me show you another one. Pure Cycles, this is called. Uh, Pure Cycles. So again, uh, something I wanted to point out is very much black and white kind of writing seems to sell well. Uh, it seems to be what a lot of them end up doing. But yeah, they just sell cycles. I think these are proper, you know, they've made them themselves. They're not some kind of drop ship thing. Uh, but here we go. What's this? It's some kind of exit pop-up, exit intent pop-up or something. It's interesting. I spin the wheel to win. Let's have a look. What do I win? Free shipping, yes, I'll take it. Oh, I've got to enter my email, oh, darn it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Oh, hang on, you win free shipping on any order over $100? <laughs> oh, dear, love it. Okay, I'm going to close that one. Next, uh, sorry, I keep having to drag this in. Mark, Mark, Mark when? Mark when? So, these are... These are, let me scroll up. Sorry, my recording screen is not big enough. Wow, I don't even know. This might be the worst. Oh, shop, there we go. You can't see, in fact, let me scroll so you can see it. I looked at this and I honestly didn't know what to click. 
to be able to buy these products. And I'm sure they've done that intentionally, but I think it sucks. Um, but again, they're probably making an absolute fortune um, from this site. So who am I to say what works and what not? But I, I wouldn't have found that an easy buying experience. Well, they sold out on them as well. So, so I sold out on them too. Wow. Who am I to say? Sold out. Everything's sold out. They need to get some more stock, don't they, guys? Uh, but yeah, that's another site. Triangle. Now we're talking, girls. Now we're talking. So, Triangle Girls. Oh. Oh, I've already clicked on Triangle Girls. Look, book. Here we go. So this is, obviously, this is their own branded stuff. This is not a dropship store, but new arrivals. Just showing you, again, very simple, um, very simple uh, logo. Very simple black and white kind of theme. Very minimalist, very kind of clean, very easy to look at. Here we go, they've got uh, plenty of product images. You select your size, we'll go for, oh, they've not got my size in, triple XL, so I'll go for XL. Add to bag. Here we go, this is, again, this is just a different variation of, um, I mean, I've not seen this particular theme in action before, but it's just another variation of the standard stuff. So Brimon, again, another one. If you want to have a look, bremont.com, bremont.com. What do these sell? Military stuff. A bit too slow loading for me. I'm going to try and speed this along. Again, black and white theme, just a little logo there. You know, real simple, real, real simple. And these are selling. I think this is coffee subscription. Now, I really like the idea of this. I don't drink coffee. I can't stand the smell or the taste. But um, a six-month coffee subscription, what a cool idea. Uh, shop let's have a look so two dollar priority shipping and free shipping over twenty dollars well that's good because you're gonna just do your best to spend over twenty dollars it's not a big stretch and then you get free shipping which is great so that's another one another one is skinny tea.com.au selling skinny tea again a nice simple black and white mostly th in fact it's not black and white is it? it's a bit colorful to be fair um, I think yeah, they've got some Instagram action going on here, which is interesting. Next one, Master and Dynamic. It's just off, off the page a little bit, but the, it looks like these do the headphones. Again, this is the thing I'm trying to show you in this video, really, guys. Probably didn't need to be as long as it is to show you this, uh, but I'm, I'm just trying to show you, I'm trying to give you some inspiration, maybe, as to the look and feel of your websites, of your Shopify stores. Uh, but again, it's pretty much a black and white theme again. This is a running, reoccurring theme, isn't it? Black and white, they've got some nice product images. It's a nice, clean looking store. Runs well. Yeah, it's nice, this. They've put a lot of work into that. Not like Tesla's 10 minutes job. This one is a temporary tattoos uh, store. And I think, I don't know if this is a dropship store. Maybe this is a dropship store. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty uh, successful store as well. Again, I don't have the figures in front of me. I should have really got them all. Um, you can you can search, you can search for this stuff. But I mean, look, tightly runs on Shopify. Boom. <coughs> Bless you. Is that the right thing to say? No. no? What do I say then? Thanks. What? No, but thanks. Okay. So another one, Nerd Wax, uh, black and white again. Watch out for fitters. We're back to the beginning. So that's it really, guys. I just wanted to show you a few stores, give you a bit of inspiration, just to convince you as well that it's this you can do this. Absolutely. It's not beyond you. A lot of the stores have just basically got a logo designed, and that's, that's very cheap to do. And you can start off with a text logo if you want to. Um, you know, just loading free themes up with images, clicking a few buttons and they're up and running. So hopefully you can see that this is easy enough to do. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in the next video. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been The Secret Wealth Project. I'm Matt. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll speak to you soon.